All right, y'all, welcome back. I'm going to jump right on into this video to show y'all how I clean my dapping dishes. Okay, I start off with one of these here. This is a micro fabric tile, and I got try saying that fast five times. But anyway, I got this here from the Dollar Tree, okay? So you can find these here at the Dollar Tree. Now, mine here is on the dirty side, and I'm explaining to you why mine is dirty, and I love to use the dirty ones. Yeah, I'm explaining to you why I love to use the dirty ones, okay? So now my dishes here, I have quite a few. I have some paper towel here, okay? And I also have one of these here. This here is a cuticle pusher. This tool right here, I only use just to clean my dapping dishes, okay? This is just the tool for my dapping dishes, not for my, I don't need nobody trying to, oh, man, Reese, you nasty, you, you down your nails. No, baby, baby, I don't use this on my nails. I just use this here for bag up, okay? I don't go using this on my nails. I just keep this stored away just for my jaws. See, I keep it with my jaws just like that, baby. That's all. I got, I got other, I got other things over here that I do my nails. I, just, I don't use this here, just so don't go using this here on your nails, okay? Okay, that's all I'm trying to say. But anyway, back to what I'm trying to explain here. So I use this here, okay? And I'm going to show you how I use this, okay? So now I go in with me some acetone right here. Acetone, see acetone. Acetone, acetone, whatever you want to call it. And I opens it up and I take at least three jars. Okay, it all depends on how many jars you have, but I, but I take me three jars and I fill it up halfway. That's one. Okay, this one got a lot of gook in it. So I fill this one up halfway. Two, with acetone, not nail polish remover. Acetone is the best. And I start off with three, filling up three of them halfway full. So now, this is what I do. I let it sit in there for a couple of minutes. Now the reason I don't fill up a lot of jars is because for one, we know acetone evaporates. So you start off with three. And I'm not trying to have my stuff evaporate because I, I don't know about you, but I don't, you know... I spend my coins wisely. I just don't have time to be just running through my product and just wasting product all over the place. I just don't have time for that. But anywho, so I start off with three of them, right? So now let it sit in there for a couple minutes. And I take this here little gadget right here, okay? And I go around the sides of it with this here. With this here, okay? So don't, I'm going to show y'all something too about this here little jar that I'm holding in my hand. Because I just want nobody to be all, that ain't clean. But I'm going to show you something with this here one, okay? So I go around it like this here, like that there, right? With this here tool here, okay? And I go around the walls of it, and I take it after I finish, take it. I got me some paper towel over here, if I didn't mention that. And I grab another empty jar, and I pour it in there, okay? That way you, you, you're working with your product wisely, okay? So then I take my microfabric towel, and I go around it with my little finger here, and I go around it like that there, see? Like that, okay? And I cleans it and I cleans it, okay? So now, let me explain to you why my rag is dirty here. First, let me tell you what this is in this in this glass. I don't want to be saying, oh, Miss Reese, that ain't even clean. Shut up, it is. Look, this here glass, don't know why, manufacturing company, they had got some type of foam or something when they was making this glass. It's built inside the glass there. I said, well, why are we? <laughs> That's cute. Anywho, so that's what I do. I just want to explain that real fast. Like, it's them white up in there. That ain't even clean. Yes, it is. So I go around it like that there, right? And it get a squeaky, squeaky, squeaky clean. Okay, now let me explain to you why my rag here is dirty. And I love the fact that it's dirty and it works so much better for me. It's because I've been doing this here now for like four years. And I haven't had this towel about four years, okay? So now, I use this rag to clean my dishes and the older this rag get the better it is because when it grabs that acrylic out these jars i just let it sit onto the rag okay you can go washing this here that acrylic still ain't going nowhere which is excellent because i have washed this numerous of times and this here ain't going nowhere so now but you hear that wait a minute, let me get this here you hear that wait let me let me let me let me give you another let me give you another example you hear all that you hear that that's dried up acrylic on it. And it works so excellent because what I do is I grab me an area with that dried up acrylic. And when you don't get all the acrylic off the side of the jars with this here, this works excellent to snatch it off. Because it's, it's, it's kind of, the texture is very, very rough. You know what I'm saying? So, and it'll grab all of that gook up out of there. That, that's why I say these microfabric tiles are the best. Okay. So now let me give you a prime example of what I'm talking about here. Now, if you've seen, I posed some of this here in, in, uh, 
I pulled some of this in this jar here, okay? So now look how it's breaking up that acrylic. You see how it's breaking up all that acrylic right there? So what I do is I go around it like this here. Be careful, don't go spilling nothing either, okay? So I go, I let it, I let it sit for a while so it can loosen up, okay? See how all that come up out of there? I don't know if you see my towel right here, but I'm going to wipe that right on my little paper towel, okay? So then I go around it again, and I grab all of that, because all of that comes up off of there, all right? And then, ooh, I don't like that squeaking. And then, so I grab it like that, and I wipe it off my towel. I wipe it off my towel, okay? I wipe it on my towel. Oh, man, was I in frame? I don't even know, child. But anyway, this is what I do. Yeah, I wipe it off my towel. I don't know if I was in frame with that one. I wipe it on my towel. Like that there, okay? And then once that's done and all that's broken up, I take it and I transfer it over there, okay, to that jar right there. Now, you see how I got a little bit more acrylic down up in there? Now, watch this here. I take this here microfabric towel and I go in with my little finger again, like that there, and I go around it. Go around it, like that there. And that texture, it grabs all that. Look at that. It grabs it all. Grabs it all off. All off of that. All off of that, baby. And I go back around it again, and it get to shining and looking pretty, brand new, ready for a whole new set, okay? So that's this video is just mainly for those who really don't, really don't know how to clean their dapping dishes. Uh, I go around it just like that, okay? And I get this mama jamma squeaky clean, and baby, it be ready, it be ready, it be ready. Look at that. Pretty. Pretty and clean and ready to go, okay? So I'm going on to the next one. So like I say, don't nobody have time to be wasting no product. That's why I only start off with three jars at a time. Okay, so now I'm going to take this here one. This one don't have much in it, but you know I clean them anyway. I don't care what I don't see. I'm going to clean it anyway. If I know I used it, I'm still going to clean it. Because that's not healthy to be using dirty dapping dishes all over the place okay so now let me show y'all something real fast i'm going to show you something real fast Somebody might be like oh, okay miss reese i understand what you're saying but masks have gook on the outside and on the rim see how the gook is on the rim of this here one don't quite know if you can see that very well but it got a lot of gook on the end of this here thing right so i understand you're saying okay we get what you're saying but sometimes you use that rag and all that stuff right there don't come off the edge or, or even maybe on the outside of the jar I'm going to show you something else here. What I do is I take this here. Well, let me start off with that one. I'm going to sit this here one down for a minute. We're going to come back to that one now, okay? Let me go in here with my little finger and clean this here one up. See, it's just, e it's just as easy as that, okay? All right, and you take it and you get you all of that off of that glass, okay? And this one got something encapsulated into it too. This one I'm talking about right here. Now, you see how all this gook is on the outside around the rim of the jar here? What you do is you take your tool. This is what I do. You don't have to do this. I'm just saying this is how I clean my glasses and it's been working for me for four years. So, hey, you know, whatever. Just felt like I wanted to share with y'all. Because there may be some folks out there that just don't know how to clean no dapping dishes. Okay, and I take it and I dip it in there and I get just a little bit and I go around the edges. And look how this stuff peels right on off. Look at that. The acetone. Again, I say don't use regular fingernail polish remover. Use you some acetone, baby. And you go around there like that. And it peels it straight on up and it breaks it right on off. Okay. I'm going to go around it again. Show you. Like that. Get that acetone to work. See? See how it's peeling straight on up? I don't know how well you can see that, but it's peeling right on up. Okay. There you go. See? Like that. Okay? And then I go around it again with my little thing here. Make sure I got it all off the sides. Yeah, this acetone is a beast, y'all. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I do is after I do that, when I start off, I take this here remaining uh, acetone that's in this jar and I pour it into a whole nother empty one. See how I'm saying? You see how we saving product here? Okay, work with me, work with me. And I take my little finger right here and I go around it with the jar like that. Okay, put a little pressure on it, okay? Put a little pressure on it so you can grab all of that 
oodles of that gook up off of there, okay? So now I take my thumb and I go like this here. Now say for instance, right? Say for instance, you don't want to put that much pressure on there. you like, anybody can tell me rubbing all that stuff up off of there like that. It's really, really hard and all this stuff. Okay, you put a little pressure on there. Or your hands may be weak and you just can't give all that pressure. What you do is you take your cloth. You can dip your little finger down in some little acetone here. One of the jars that already got acetone in it. And you can rub it across here with your microfabric towel. You can rub it across the rim here with the acetone. And it'll come right on off, okay? You can do it that way as well, okay? So, and then you go across. I mean, you go around it like this here. And the little acetone that's on the rag here is going to help too, okay? Just trying to show you how to save your little coins. And keep your stuff clean. That's ours. Be careful using these gloves as well. Because they are not acetone resistant. <laughs> your fingers will bust through. So just keep that in mind. Okay. Now I'm not going to sit on this camera and clean all these jars. Because that's entirely too boring. And I ain't trying to kill y'all with the boredness. I just want to come real fast. Just to show y'all how I clean my dapping dishes. Okay. Let me show y'all how I clean my bowls before I let you go. Okay. Because all this stuff got to get clean. All of it. Now this here one is old monomer that's in here with maybe some black acrylic. You know how, you all know how nasty these things get. So what I do is I take this here remaining monomer and I pour it on a paper towel like that. Okay. And what I do is I fold it up and I wrap it up real good and I put it in a plastic bag. Now, I'm going to give you some advice. Okay. I don't know where you stay or where I live. We have hazarded bins, okay? Because I don't know if you don't know, but it's against the law to just go pouring this here stuff into a regular garbage can. You don't do that, okay? You will get in trouble for that. Okay? So when we take out our trash, one, if we have anything that's hazardous, we put products into that, okay? Because it goes to a whole different place, all right? Just a reminder, a FYI, just in case you didn't know, okay? So, what I would do with that is I take all my old products, acetone, whether it's on paper towels, soaked up, I still put that in our hazard bin, okay? Now, I'm going to show you this here, how I clean this here one right here, okay? So, this here one, like I say, it had monomer down in there with some black acrylic mix, Okay, so I say again, I'm not going to waste no product. So I'm going to take my, ac my acetone that I had in this glass. Because I'm going to come back with it. And it, I'm going to come back and clean that one, okay? And I take, see how this stuff evaporates really, really fast? That's why you probably got to work fast. And I normally work a little faster than what I am today. Because, but I'm just doing this here for video purposes. So once I got that acetone down in there like that, it's breaking up all that black acrylic. And I'm going to use my tool here again, like I say. And I'm going to break it up a, a little bit more. Uh-oh, I'm not in frame. Here we go. I'm going to break it up a little bit more, and I'm going to go around the edges of it with just a little bit of it. See, and the reason I like to use this here is because, supposed to using the uh, the towel here is because once you use that towel, you stick your little finger down in there with the acetone, and one, number one is going to tear up the glove like it just did me. So I don't really like to do that. I like to take this gadget and just work very patiently. And just get it up off the edge just like that. And then not only that it tears up your glove, it also takes away a lot of your products soaking up into that rag there. Okay. So now I go around the edges like that. Just to loosen it up because that towel, again, I say, got the rugged edges on it. It's going to grab all this up. Okay. So now, this is what I did. This is what I did. So I take this here and I pour it back into one of these jars there. Okay. Don't matter if it's dirty. It's all going to come clean. Take my little finger with my thumb and I go down in there like that there, okay? And I go around the edges with my little rugged rag here and I cleans all of that up, okay? See? Nice and clean. Now, never you mind this little chip right here because this had was when they sent it to me, but you know, hey, I didn't want to make a big fuss about it. It's just a little nick. I'm going to go ahead and finish up all these here real fast off camera and I'm going to come right back with you.